Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Chantal Janae and if you have been riding with me for a very long time, I just want to say thank you and thank you for your patience. Um, a lot has gone on with me in the past, oh my gosh, couple years since I've been on here, which is one of the reasons why it's probably taken me so long to come back. It's so many things that have made this video almost daunting, this introduction and like trying to fill you guys all back in. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to save that for later. I'm gonna jump right into this video. One of the newest things about me is that I have started a handcrafted jewelry and skincare line. My business is called Watercolor Crystals. Um, Watercolor Crystals is really focused on mental and spiritual health. Um, as a now healthcare provider, I feel like that's one of the areas of healthcare that is so undervalued. And I just wanted to bring some love and light to people around me. And it just transcended into this large community of people who really just seem to appreciate having things to hold them in a higher and positive space. So that's why I started it. I'm so happy that there's been so many of you guys who I was able to send things to and who have given me such amazing feedback that some days it really just is enough to make you get up in the morning and, you know, go on another day. So thank you for that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys how to tie on these waist beads. I've gotten so many requests I do create waist beads in elastic, also with screw closure, and tie-on. And so these are for my tie-on girls. A lot of people are so afraid of tie-on beads because they're permanent, right? They hold you accountable. But to me, they are a constant reminder of beauty and light. Okay, so what I'm gonna do today is I'm going to tie on these clear quartz waist beads. This is a set that's not even available yet. I just truly created them um, for this video and they serve much more purpose than you guys could even know. Clear Quartz is great for like amplification of energy, for creativity, for clarity, for balance. Um, I like to use it for focus as well. And I just feel like in all these different endeavors that I am doing right now, that is the one thing that I can improve upon for sure is my focus. Um, I can kind of be all over the place with all these different ideas and all of these different um, needs to please other people and try to send things to other people and things like that. And so I just wanna really rein it in and focus and kind of get things done in a better manner, a more organized manner. So that's why I'm gonna tie on these clear quartz ones. I'm really excited about them because it's it's a beautiful strand. So without further ado. So my beads come with these two, uh, I typically put evil eye beads on the end of them. Oh, unfortunately, a lot of my clients don't like to cut them off, but it's okay. You can cut them off and keep them. It's fine, like just keep them. But they come as these little stopper beads on the end. And I always create my beads a little larger than the size my customer created. Now, the reason for that is that tying can be a bit of a daunting experience and it can also be a little bit difficult if you're new to it. So I like to make sure that they can get their sizing correct right away. You know, I don't wanna send them a 30 inch bead and they really are 31, 32, and now they're they're stuck with the beads that are that are too small, you know? So I, I intentionally give a little space on either end to account for that because my customer's happiness and is the most important thing for me as a business owner, like I promise. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just remove my elastic ones because these permanent ones are gonna be here for life. <laughs> Not for life, but you know. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap them around to where my beads, my stopper beads are here in the front. Okay, so now if you can see, I have extra 
One thing to note is that if you tie it too tightly, these beads, as they slide a tiny bit, because you won't be able to get the knot like completely, completely flush against you, it will like kind of grab and pull your skin. So you don't want that. You want it to be snug, but not overtly tight. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna kind of like, just cross them like this and measure about how long I want them to be. So if you can see here, I'm crossing it there. Maybe push out your stomach a little bit. Sometimes I would like even sit down to see, okay, this is gonna be comfortable for me if I want to. Sorry, my lighting is kind of off, but I'm just focusing it out. So what I'm gonna do is I kind of found that this is a good spot for me, right? So I'm going to push the beads, keep it crossed, push the extra beads on either side. And if you can see, I have a little bit of room, right? So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just going to, again, once you tie them, they're permanent. So you want to measure it properly the first time because the only way to get them off afterwards is to cut them off. And none of us wanna do that. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna ensure, you know, okay, like is this where I want it to be? Let's add a little bit more beads on this side. Okay. So with it being completely flush to my skin, this is a little snug, I would say, because I don't want it to, again, pull up my, my skin, my belly hair, you know, all that. So I'm gonna make it a little looser. And you just keep adding beads little by little until it's gonna be like perfect. And I think we are like about there. Okay, so I'm gonna wrap it around like this. And now I have this extra here. And take my scissors, cut them into a bowl. And now I just have the string and the beads that are on me. So what I'm gonna do now is pull it tight and tie it in a knot. Okay, so once you have the first loop, pull it tight and quick. So one knot is typically not enough. I like to keep mine secure. So even though I have the first knot and it's pretty secure, I'm going to knot it a few more times. Okay, so that was three knots. I like to go a little bit further. You see how I have two knots on two strings on each side? I'm gonna take one from one side and one from the other, and I'm gonna knot these separately. And the same thing, I'm gonna take the other two and knot those. So if you can see here, I have a knot. Now, don't worry about this little knot showing over time, it's gonna just fall into one of the beads as it gets smoother. But I just like to make sure it's really, really snug. You can even pull it here, it's not coming off. It's, it's fine. So when you wanna cut it, cut the string, make sure you're cutting not into that knot, right? Because it's still string, it can slip, slip a little bit. You wanna give it a little bit of room and leave a little bit of extra string and cut them from there. So now you have this little knot here. And just move it to the back. And here you are.